Materials needed for this activity. Measuring cup. There are two types of measuring cup. This one is specifically used to measure wet ingredients. The other type is used to measure both wet and dry ingredients. Next on our list are spatulas. There are two types of spatulas, straight and offset. Measuring spoons. These types can also be used to measure both wet and dry ingredients. Flour sifter. In case you don't have a flour sifter, you may also use a strainer as a substitute. Measuring wet ingredients. When measuring wet ingredients, put the measuring cup on a flat surface and pour the water carefully. The correct way to see if you have the correct amount is to level yourself on the measuring cup and not lifting it from the flat surface. Measuring dry ingredients. Sugar. Before measuring the sugar using either a measuring spoon or measuring cup, please be sure to give it a quick stir from the bottle to make sure that the clumps or lumps that has been formed from storage is removed. When that's done, you can now proceed in scooping your sugar using either your measuring spoon or measuring cup. The correct way of leveling the amount of sugar that you have on your measuring spoon or your measuring cup is by using your spatula. Do not tap the sugar that has been scooped to level. Again, the correct way is to level it using your spatula. Next is flour. Before getting the measurement that you need for the flour, you have to prepare it first by scooping the flour and sifting it before getting the measurement that you need. This ensures that your flour is clean and that all of the lumps and clumps are removed. After sifting the flour, you may now proceed to getting the exact amount of flour that you need by using the correct uh, measuring spoon or measuring cup. Please make sure that when scooping the flour, you get a heaping amount of flour and level it by using the spatula. Again, the correct way of leveling the flour that you need is by using a spatula, not by tapping. That concludes our performance task. Thank you everyone. Hope you learned something today.